So if you're an engineering student or you're thinking about studying engineering or you're already an engineer in the field, you want to you want to ramp up your skills, I would say you definitely need to learn software. You need to know how to write programs. You need to know how to talk to computers. You really need to know how to get computers to do what you want. Now, if you really think about software, all software is, is just a form of leverage. It's just there to serve you achieve some type of goal. This is the paradigm that I use, which really serves me is me as an engineer. I am a problem solver. I am a thinker. I am a thinking center. And my goal is to identify problems to solve and then go ahead and solve them and basically bridge the gap between current state and desired state with my solution. Now, sometimes the way to do that is to write programs. And the, the real benefit of writing programs is not just in that you write the program and then you achieve the certain goal, is that with each program that you write or with each piece of software that you write, you learn how to think better and how to solve problems. Because in order to like solve the problem and write the program, you need to think very hard about the problem, you need to think very hard about the solution, and then the program or the piece of software that you write just becomes basically the implementation. And there's another thing I wanted to discuss which is like very often people ask me, oh, which programming language should I learn? Which programming language should I start with? Or which programming language is the most important one and whatnot? And like, obviously the answer is always, it depends. Like depends on what the application is that you're trying to achieve. But what I really want you to think about like programming or writing code or coding or any of that like interface with computers where you're sending commands to the computer and you're getting computer to do something that you want. That's really the essence of programming. It's all about how to think and solve problems. Like that thing is far more important than the specific programming language sure based on which application you use may one language may be more efficient uh, than the other and generally speaking if you want like a general purpose language that kind of does many things and does them fairly well and you can and has kind of a low barrier to entry where you can learn it pretty quick and the syntax is pretty intuitive and user friendly python is the one that's recommended to start with that's the one i would learn if i were to start from scratch again simply because it's kind of the easiest or the easiest to get used to but the real meat is not whether you use python or java or javascript or c or any of that the real meat is with each program you write and each problem you solve, you basically learn how to solve problems and you get better at problem solving. So programmers who are really, really, really good, uh, they're usually very good problem solvers. And what, what language they use is at times irrelevant. They just use the one that is either suited to their preference or again, the one that is more suitable for the application. So if you're an engineering student and you're trying to think about learning how to write software, I would definitely go for it. I would definitely prioritize it as a skill that you need to learn. And I would start with Python. And I wouldn't just go and like pick up a book or like there's another misconception how to learn Python, I would just pick a project and just go try to attack it with Python. Sure, maybe watch some like videos on how to get the basics done. Like go and write hello world or go and watch a YouTube video on like get a picture to change its color using Python or something like that. And then once you have figured out the syntax, how to define a variable and how to write a function, how to call a function, how to do all that, how to import a library and how to use some a function within a library. Once you figure out how to use all of that, then what I would do to learn the language as fast as possible is I would just go pick a project that I am interested in. And then I would basically try to use that language to solve that problem. For example, one problem I may be interested in is coming up with some type of program that looks at my screen usage and monitors my screen usage and tells me how many times I'm like switching between tabs or like how many times I'm switching between different things that I'm using on my computer or something like that, just because I'm interested in tracking my behavior. Obviously, there's probably something that exists out there, but you could probably write a program for that. You could write a program for anything. And if it's hard and you get really stuck, that's also good because that's going to show you like which point things break and wherever you get stuck you can literally just go and google like how to x or like this thing didn't work and then you're going to type it and then you're going to get an error and then you can take that error and then go and google it and you'll be on something like stack exchange where someone has gone through that problem so i would really encourage you if you want to learn software immerse yourself in the experience and just try to learn by doing it and try to learn by building something rather than just like watch watch consume consume take take in so much information and not know what to do with it because i guarantee you're going to learn way faster by attempting to do something getting stuck and solving that specific problem. And that's also going to give you context on how to solve the problems and how to learn the thing. And final example I'll use before I let you go is I like to think of the Christmas tree and the ornaments. And if you go and consume a ton of stuff on programming, you're basically learning the ornaments, but you don't have the Christmas tree. You don't have the context. You've never been stuck. You've never had the pain. So you don't really know where to place these ornaments or where you don't really know where that knowledge applies. Now, if you were to go and try to build a program using any language and you get stuck and you're in pain and you go figure it out and you go and Google it and then you learn it and you have like an aha moment and then you solve it and you get into the next problem and then you go and consume stuff and then you go and watch videos on programming and things of that nature. That's going to be far more effective because then you'll actually understand the context of which that applies. I think if you do that, you'll probably learn it very quick. Now, I did make a separate video on the software I use specifically as a PhD student uh, and some of the things that I use to write programs. So you should go ahead and watch that. That's probably going to give you a bit more specific insight since I share my screen and dive into my computer, show you what that looks like. So I'll see you over there. Peace, love.